So basically, my life isn't going anywhere right now. I don't have a job. I have, I have nothing. I have no prospects. Before Nick Crompton would utter these now infamous words, turning himself into a meme known the world over. But I'm from Ohio, the white boy. This England is my city with the Disney Channel flow. Bob, England is my city. Once never done. Before Nick Crompton would amass 1.5 million Instagram followers at the time of this recording. You know it's Nick ah! What is that? What is what is that? What is that thing? Before Nick would wear a t-shirt of his own face, which is also available as a phone case or as a pillow. You know, I feel bad for Nick about that line. Like he got roasted by everyone online. Like England is my city. I wrote that line. I wrote that line for him. Before Nick Crompton would delete his own YouTube channel, which boasted over 100,000 subscribers. It looks like Nick Crompton ended up closing his own channel because if you look, his channel is closed. Like it wasn't terminated, it's just closed. Why'd you do that? Well, my honey is that he was sick of people commenting, England is my city. Now Nick Crompton has been in the YouTube game since 2012, starting out at the age of 17. After completing high school, Nick picked up work at a bar while he poured his energy into his multiple YouTube channels. Back then he would pump out vlogs, gaming videos, cooking videos, comedy sketches, and even dabbled with starting up a podcast. Eventually he began to see some momentum, but none of these channels became big enough for him to earn a decent living. Nick decided to mix things up in 2014 when he teamed up with five other UK content creators forming a group project known as Project 6. Eventually this project fell apart, but it might have been the catalyst for his future endeavors with Team 10. In the meantime, he got a job as head of talent and influencers with the tech company Social Chain, which would take him to Los Angeles and introduce him to Jake Paul. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Mike McCrudden, documenting the life and career of Nick Crompton, prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now just last week I made a video on Alyssa Violet, and you guys overwhelmingly requested this video, so here I am getting it done. Be sure to let me know who you want me to do in a future video, and you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Alright, here we go. YouTube, which is a hobby, but I've got nothing, and I'm failing at life right now. Nick Crompton was born on February 5th, 1995 in the city of Bradford, England, located in West Yorkshire, an hour east of Manchester. So for the record, England is certainly not a city. Not much is known about his family, but based on this picture, I guess that this is his mom, he's got two brothers, and a girl who doesn't mind getting a little handsy with one of their brothers. Maybe she's a girlfriend. Also, here is a pic of him with his dad. I hope it's a girlfriend. But that'd be weird. She's super Nick attended Salt Grammar School and was later enrolled at Tita Salt Sixth Form, a school that specializes in mathematics and computing. Nick has admitted via Instagram that he was a nerd, getting praised for always giving 100% and willing to help out others. Upon completion at Sixth Form in 2012, Nick didn't have much to do so he bought himself a camera and began producing YouTube videos. In the meantime, he picked up a gig at a bar to bring in some extra money. So I'm guessing you all probably know by now because I literally mention it in nearly every single video, but I work in a bar. And the reason why I mention it so much is because so much happens and it's just, it's a weird environment to be in. Nick claims that his first 20 videos were so awful that he would later make them private because he was embarrassed. He would pump out countless videos trying tons of different niches as I mentioned in the intro, but he was always candid with his audience. When people say, oh so Nick, what, what do you do nowadays? Um, nothing. Slowly but surely, he found more confidence in his delivery and began building up a small fan base. His early work shows his talent for editing and graphic design, and he began collaborating with other YouTubers while he attended the London YouTube Creator Academy. He also teamed up with Little Dot Studios, and he started up a gaming channel known as The Pod Games. I've been doing two videos a day for, I've been doing a video on the pod games and I've been doing a video on my main channel, my vlogging channel. The kid was working day and night pumping out multiple videos on multiple channels, but he still wasn't earning enough to pay his bills. That's when he decided to switch things up and he teamed up with Jake Boys, Jack Dean, Sam King, Adam Waith, and Jamie Cottrell to form Project 6. But this collab channel, it was short lived. 
Nick, for fuck's sake, man. I thought you were pointing over at me or something. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah, you are yeah. pointing over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh <laughs> Now, if this wasn't enough for one man to handle, he then decided to start his own podcast, which was also short-lived. Then out of nowhere, Nick found himself gainfully employed. If you follow me on Twitter, then you'll know that yesterday I went for a job interview and I just got called out saying, you have the job and you need to come in like now. Nick landed the job as head of talent and influencers working at Social Chain in nearby Manchester. Things must have worked out well in this position because Nick is now credited as a founding member of Social Chain, a global marketing agency that advises some of the biggest influencers and brands like Puma, Universal Pictures, British Airways, BBC, Apple and more. Now there exists no wiki page for Nick Crompton and with him having removed his YouTube channel, I'm trying my best to piece this one together. I'm assuming it was his work with Social Chain that brought him to America, with him first arriving in September of 2016. It wouldn't be long before Nick would make friends with Jake Ball, who had already been formulating his Team 10 crew. All in the same thing, all rapping one thing, looking for revenge. With Nick's expertise as a former creative and his new context with brands and businesses, these two were a match made in heaven. Nick took on the title of Chief Operating Officer for Team 10, which is the talent hub of a bigger company known as Team Dom, a modern day media conglomerate that focuses on teen entertainment and media, which is backed by the likes of Gary Vaynerchuk, Tikhan Bernstam, Jared Morgenstein, Alexandra Devlov, and more. Maybe one day when I've got a job, I can look back on this video and laugh at myself and be like, oh, I remember back then when I didn't have any money and no future. That was funny. Now, with Jake Paul and Team 10 exploding onto YouTube and changing the game as we know it, the young kid from Bradford, England is in a good position to take over Tinseltown. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. Be sure to browse around, hit subscribe, let me know who's next. I'll see you guys in another video. England is my city. England is my city. England is my city. I think this song has killed me. I want to die more than I've ever died before.